Switching gears now and looking at education, the graduation rate in Mobile County schools is at an all-time high. But now, so is the number of schools labeled as failing by the State Department of Education. News 5's Emily DeVoe looks into why that number is growing. The percentage of high school graduates in Mobile is soaring, up to 86% in January from 70% just four years ago. So when the state released their list of failing schools this week, at a glance, it's surprising to see a record number of Mobile schools on the list. Twelve, that's more than double the number we had last year. We don't want people just to look at a list and think, oh my goodness, what's happening here? But that through being involved in the schools all year long, they know the effort that's being put into uh, student achievement. Superintendent Martha Peek says part of the reason for the high count is the fact the criteria changed. Schools like Denton and Mobile County training schools are regular on the list because the criteria used to include schools who fell in the bottom 6% of the ACT Aspire scores for three of the last six years. This year that changed to include only results from the 2015 test alone. This is really a post-mortem in that this is last year's data. We know that what we've got to do is concentrate right now on making sure everything's in place for the testing that begins on April the 4th. Peak's main concern with the failing schools list is that it only factors in results from a single test. Our ultimate goal is graduation. A goal that's improving while the other is still in the works. I've got to be that optimist that says we're going to have all of our schools cleared. In Mobile, Emily DeVoe, News 5. To see if your child's school is on the list, you can head on over to our website, wkrg.com.